Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Sarah and in this video I'll be explaining some of the simple steps on how to check your computer specs. Whether looking to upgrade your PC and you need to know what your current specs are so you can select the relevant upgrades, checking your computer specs is actually quite straightforward. So let's kick things off with the CPU and what speed it is. The things most people want to know when looking into computer specs is what pro processor CPU said computer has, which is very simple if you are running Windows 10. To find this information, first of all, right click the Windows tab in the bottom left hand corner of your desktop. In the menu that pops up, select and click system. Under device specifications, then processor, you will see listed what CPU is in your computer. Next component to check would be which GPU you have. Looking at the GPU is easy as finding which CPU you have. So start with as before, right click the Windows icon at the bottom left hand corner of your desktop. On the menu that pops up, click the Device Manager tab. In Device Manager, click the arrow next to Display Adapters. Under the drop-down, you will see the GPU that your computer is using. Some people may experience two options under the Display Adapter drop-down tab, which means your PC has both integrated graphics and a dedicated standalone graphics card. Choose the dedicated graphics card, the more powerful of the two, which will be the second of the two options. If your PC is running an Intel CPU, then you will likely have integrated graphics and is usually Intel HD Graphics 400. If it's AMD, then it will be some form of Radeon R3-9. to On to our third step, checking which motherboard you have. The simplest and most straightforward way to check would be to open your computer and look at the motherboard itself, where it will have both the brand and model number. For example, MSI followed by a series of numbers and letters. This is the info you'll need if looking to sell or upgrade. To understand the numbers and letters which specify the chipset, here are some steps to help. Go to Windows Search tab, type System Information and press Enter. On the left hand side of the System Information box, highlight the System Summary tab. In the list on the right hand side, look for the baseboard manufacturer, baseboard model and baseboard name, which gives you everything you'll need to know regarding your motherboard. For more information and a technical explanation of the technical terms used for the motherboard, read our WePC article, click on the card above or the link down below. Now on to checking how much memory slash RAM you have. Checking the RAM is as easy as checking the CPU. Simply right click the Windows tab in the bottom left hand corner of your desktop Select the System tab from the pop-up menu in System and underneath the CPU, you will find how much RAM the computer is operating with. Next up is checking how big your hard drive is. Checking your hard drive is probably the easiest thing to find as far as specs go. Start by opening a folder and click this PC tab on the left hand side. Then navigate to the local disk see where it should say how much space your storage has plus what is free right click the local disk C and select properties if more info is required if you go into properties you will see a chart which shows the total space and free space it will also give you an exact figure for how many bytes your storage has so guys in conclusion some things to keep in mind if you are selling or upgrading everything has to work in harmony in a PC so the motherboard must be able to accommodate the new GPU or is the CPU powerful enough to get the most out of it? Or do you have enough RAM to run the games and software you have bought the GPU for? Is the PSU powerful enough to even run the GPU? These are all questions you need to ask yourself when thinking about upgrading hardware in your PC. By finding out the specs of your computer, you have the tools there to upgrade and get the most out of your gaming experience. If you are unsure on how to make sure your computer components are compatible with your PC, watch our video we made on this or read the adjoining WePC article. 
click on the card above or the link down below. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let us know down in the comments down below on which of these tips help you. Please give us a like and a subscribe and click on the notification bell. And if you look over here, there's gonna be a video that we know you'll enjoy. Thanks again.